Myths and Legends by T.W. Rolleston. Chapter 3 The Irish Invasion Myths The Dagda At the Rebels of Fairy Folk Well, you can't really, uh, the fairy folk kind of go beyond uh, being captured or illustrated, but, uh, you know, some people, that's what they want to do. Uh, the Dagdamore was the father and chief of the people of Donna. A certain conception of vastness attaches to him and to his doings. In the second battle of Moitura, his blows sweep down the whole ranks of the army, and his spear when he trails it on the march, draws a furrow in the ground, like the fossa, which marks the mirroring of a province. An element of grotesque humor is present in some of the records about this deity. When the Fomorians gave him food on his visit to their camp, the porridge and milk are poured into a great pit in the ground, and he eats it with a spoon big enough, it was said, for a man for a man and a woman to lie together in it. With this spoon, he scrapes the pit. When the porridge is done, and shovels earth and gravel unconcernedly down his throat, you have already seen that, like all the Danans, he is a master of music, as well as of other magical endowments, and owns a harp, which comes flying through the air at his call. The tendency to attribute life to inanimate things is apparent in the Homeric literature, but exercises a very great influence in the mythology Of this country. The living fiery spear of Lu, the magic ship of Manan, An, the sword of Connery Moor, which sang, Kukuling's sword, which spoke, the Leofail, stone of destiny, which roared for joy beneath the feet of rightful kings, the waves of the ocean, roaring with rage and sorrow, when such kings are in jeopardy, the waters of the Avon Dia, holding back for fear at the mighty duel between Cuculain and Ferdia, are but a few out of many examples. A legend of latter times tells how once, at the death of a great scholar, all the books in Ireland fell from their shelves upon the floor. Here by the lake he wrought is the name of this illustration. So if these things aren't physical, what do they mean? Are, in what way are they true?